Most candidates are spending their last moments campaigning, trying to sway those undecided voters. That includes Governor Susana Martinez and her opponent, Democrat Gary King. Martinez voted this morning in Las Cruces and is on her way back to Albuquerque, where she will meet with campaign workers. She spent the last few days traveling across the state. Now, Gary King voted this morning in Edgewood. He spent some time this morning in the South Valley talking with campaign workers who have been very busy on the phones. King will head to Santa Fe later tonight, then back to Albuquerque. Now, for the first time in decades, Republicans could take back control of the State House of Representatives. Right now, the State House has 37 Democrats and 33 Republicans. There needs to be only a shift in three races to shift the balance. For 60 years, Democrats have dominated the State House. That's because there are more than 100,000 more Democrats than Republicans registered to vote. Now, we don't have a breakdown of votes cast today until later this afternoon as far as how those are splitting up. But a breakdown of the early voting cast in Bernalillo County, nearly 41,000 Democrats have voted and a little more than 32,000 Republicans and several thousand independents. Another close race to watch today, the one for U.S. Senate. Democrat Tom Udall is seeking his second term and is being challenged by Republican Alan Way. Polls show Udall leading, but Way has been closing the gap. Both are working hard in the last hours to lure undecided voters. Now, there is a lot of confusion about one issue on the ballot. It is an amendment, Amendment 1 on the ballot. It's an amendment that could save hundreds of thousands of dollars in school elections. Now, just to clarify, <coughs> excuse me, if you vote yes for Amendment 1, you do want to consolidate the school and nonpartisan elections. If you vote no for that Amendment 1, that means you wish to keep them separate, which is how they currently are. I hope this helps you as you make your way to the polls today.